Hey boys, welcome back to some more Sam Walker career mode. It's going to be round two of the season. Got a got a got a first round victory, which is which is always nice to to get the season rolling with a with a solid win. Taking on one of the uh, one of the I mean probably the old school rivals now, the Bulldogs. It's sort of been no <laughs> the last few years the Bulldogs haven't really been anyone's rivals in in all honesty. Um, they just haven't, uh, they haven't been good enough to, to form a rivalry. But used to back in the day, to, you know, a couple of, a couple of big, big clubs here, Roosters v Bulldogs, had some great battles over the years. And uh, yeah, on, on the game, I'm, I mean, you know, they got a, they got a decent team. And uh, let's, let's hope we can, we can continue the form as uh, Takeaho is going to get us off to, uh, off to proceedings here. But yeah, it was it was uh, it was it was good to get the uh, get the cobwebs out with uh, with that uh, that first round. We haven't we haven't played uh, we haven't played like a star player career in quite a while. Um, obviously, I, I did start the Israel Folea career, um, and I was going to continue that. But honestly, uh, since I got the you know rugby league li uh, rugby league life or or the PS4 working again, I sort of. Yeah, the, the, the PC, the Steam edition, I sort of wasn't as keen to play. I just I just prefer playing on console, dude. So <laughs> that was sort of why. And also, I mean, Falao, um, he's not even... He's, he's going back to, to bloody Japanese rugby. Is that where he's going? So I was sort of a bit salty about that anyway. So we're, <laughs> we're done with the Falao stuff. Uh, but yeah, getting back to some uh, some star player career. It's always fun. I, 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 love, I love the edition. It was, it was in... Yeah, Rugby League Live 3 was the first uh, the first Rugby League game to do the, the Be A Pro and the Be A Star career. And it was, you know, it, it was definitely well needed. And it, uh, I think, I, I do still wish they, they, you know, had some more, you know, I guess customization or, or some more in-depth into the into the, the player career modes. But uh, it, it works really well. I, th I think they've, they did do a great job with the, uh, the, the career you know, controlling one player, being able to still have like a good, a good impact on a game regardless as uh, the Bulldogs, again, we, we've just been giving them good field position. They're, they're not a team that can necessarily make you pay, but, uh, you know, any team, if, if you give them enough chances, they, they can, they can get it done as Adam Elliott gets, uh, gets very close there. What's it going to be now? Fourth tackle, looking to uh, to go back to the blind side again here. Well, they had the numbers, but Josh Jackson chooses to hold on to the footy. He should have let it go through the hands. They had the they had the three on two, but uh, yeah, the Bulldogs just not quite uh, capitalising on their chances at the moment. As a kick, not uh, not the best kick of all time, and we do end up surviving another little uh, another little onslaught. There is uh, Brett Morris gets a nice little pass back forward pass. Ref is killing us in this game, dude. That was uh, I, I don't know about that one. He broke through a one tackle. We we weren't gonna like streak away and score. There was there was cover defense coming and we got tackled. But uh, the forward pass calling a little a little bit rough. A little bit rough is Dallin with Tennis Lesniak obviously has departed the Bulldogs, but um, obviously not up to date on the game. Is Nick Kotrick the new recruit is gonna score in that time? That time they didn't even have the numbers. I don't know what. I, th I think it's Daniel Tupo on that side. He just he, he he stuck on his wing, which I respect. I feel like a lot of wingers just leave their wing open. But uh, you know, you probably want to be, you know, primarily you want to be marking your opposing winger rather than the sideline. So yeah, that was that was some really bad <laughs> defense by by Tupo just letting uh, Kotrick just stroll over for the first try of the game as uh, we finally get a chance to attack. The last minute of the first half, can we uh, can we get something happening here? As Lockie Lamb swings it out to Joey Manu back on the inside. Unfortunately, that's going to be the last play of the half. We were we were looking we were looking good for something there in that set, but just didn't have enough time. And uh, you know that was, that was a wake up call in that first half. And then, <laughs> jeez, <laughs> off the kickoff. Oh my goodness, that was uh, that was shambolic. Hargraves just ran into into Lamb, I think it was, who passed him the footy, and a knock-on ensued, so, yeah, I, I thought we would have learned our lesson, coming into the sheds, only being down four points to nothing is, is pretty solid for the, for the footy the Bulldogs had, and, and the defense we had to endure, but, uh, apparently, uh, apparently the boys did not, uh, come out of the sheds with their head switches, uh, head 
put on properly. <laughs> We're all over the shop, dude, and uh, again, our online defense is, is is stoic. It's stoic for sure. It's fifth and last. Nick Kotrick puts in the kick. Will Hopawade gets close. He's uh, he's trying to get involved. Nick Kotrick's had it. He's you know, I, it's it's a tough one. It's a tough one. The Bulldogs signed him. I don't. I don't. Oh man! Again, another another knock on, and this time, the Dogs they can't really score. You know, normally. Um, but they, they do end up scoring off off the back of another error. That was just defensive pressure. The big shot and, and I think who was it? Josh Jackson swooped on it and scored. So all of a sudden, all that possession, all our goal line defense has uh, has been eradicated. And again, we just we dude, this game is just an absolute nightmare. Our boys just cannot hold the football, and it is uh it's making life very difficult for ourselves. We we just we can't get into the game. We're, we're doing our best defensively, but yeah, just cannot get into this contest at all. Um, as Kyle Flanagan, a little kick for himself almost gets there, but we come up with a try saver. We had we had to get involved somehow as uh, we finally get our hands on the footy. We almost turn it over, dude. Oh, that would have been a disaster. Um, but yeah, talking about Kotrick, um, you know, it's a, it's a tough one. He was obviously signed as a you know a potential center. Um, and I don't know, maybe he can eventually turn into, into a, a gun center. I do think he is just more of a winger, um, for his skill set. His beautiful play, that's what it's all about, dude. We find we finally get our hands on the footy. I think it was, who was it? It must have been James Tedesco down that left-hand side. Beats one into the backfield. We're backing up for support, and that's, uh, that's as simple and, uh, as, as effective as you like, as, uh, Unfortunately, we're not uh, the second choice goal kicker either. Obviously, Takeaho is off the field, and and Tedesco is kicking goals. Who is not not a good kicker. Let's be frank. I mean, Walker's not even that good a kicker either. But uh, he, he's probably better than quite a bit better than Tedesco. Um, as uh, we finally get a another little line break there. But yeah, Kotrick, yeah, a bit a bit of a rough season, honestly. I think his form in general was okay. But again, it's it's tough to go into that Bulldogs team on the wing and actually do anything. So, and then obviously typified by by the, I can't remember what he what he did, but yeah, season ending injury, which is unfortunate. Is Kyle Flanagan? He's <laughs> showing some showing some skills against his old club. Goes through, throws the dummy, which is which is silky. But uh, they get a chance to probably ice his game here. Hopawade, he is going to get to the try line. He dove early. It was a risky play because they more often than not they'll they'll knock it on if they they go early like that. But Hapawade just beats Manu and then just slides over and, and scores a, a little sneaky try there. So the Bulldogs, I mean they they they've been deserved winners. I I can't uh, I cannot dispute that. We have been uh, we have been abysmal. Um, when we've been able to get involved in the in the contest, personally, Walker has been pretty uh, pretty good. We've set up a few nice chances. We set up that one try, or we got we got the try. Um, but other than that, it was it was a domination from the from the Bulldogs. So a nice little you know a wake up call early in the season, which is which is good. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.